Hello, thank you for that introduction. My name is Stephen Ward, and I'm going to be presenting today on the topic of ingestion or indigestion, decision-making on behalf of a group in regards to choosing the location of an office outing. Just to give you a little bit of an introduction of what we're going to talk about, I'm going to tell you about the problem that led to me needing to conduct this study, the design of the study, the it was a survey that I used, then the actual carrying out of the survey, the deciding factor, what was the final decision that we actually had to make, and of course Q&A time at the end. So the problem, the problem we were faced with. Uh, now in our office there's a typical um, routine for office meals. You know, Mr. Smith, that's our boss, he will call one of us and say we're gonna have a staff meal today uh, one of the staff members then makes the reservation at Mr. Smith's favorite restaurant in the world, Nobby. And then around lunchtime, or sometimes for dinner, we all gather, move there together, eat the meal. It's pretty straightforward. However, there was a problem that came up this time. Uh, Mr. S Smith uh, did the same thing as usual. He picked up the call. This time he called me. He picked up the phone. He called me. And he said that I should pick the restaurant. Right? This has actually never happened before. He always wants to go to Nobby. Uh, very unusual circumstances. So this left me with a question. Is it possible to make everyone happy in this situation? Seems like a lose-lose situation. But after much deliberation, I decided that if I follow a, if I develop, if I create a transparent and open process for choosing the right restaurant, nobody will have a chance to complain about anything and everyone will be happy. So, how did I do this? How I tried to make everyone happy? Again, I decided to use a survey. Uh, the survey would be the best way to gauge office staff preferences. Uh, Anonymity and transparency are, are, would be big benefits to, of doing it this way. Actually, with the, the online survey form that I used, there's a publicly available link that I also shared. I shared it uh, in the same email that I used to ask people to fill out the survey. And that link, um, you can actually view the live results as it comes in. Anybody can. So it's, it's very transparent and open. You can't see... Um, who the recipients are, right? So the survey data is still anonymous. Uh, you don't, there's no way to, to tell just based on the data who individual people are. So the data is still anonymous, but the, the process of it, the prospect process of it is fully transparent. And this survey only had one question, and that question was, what kind of food do you most want to eat? I sent the email to the of the survey to oh sorry about that <laughs> 22 staff members and I've got 20 responses which is really a pretty good response rate I felt and as you already saw the results came back uh, one person said Nobby 19 people said anywhere else anything except for Nobby pretty clear cut data right however there was a problem. Uh, as I mentioned, the the survey page was a link was public, right? Where it had the results of the survey, the live results of the survey. Um, I got a phone call from our boss, Mr. Smith, and he pointed out that the questions, the question in my survey, was kind of leading. It was a it was a biased question, and he he believed we should do it again uh, with slightly different word, slightly different wording of the survey survey. So I went back and I rewrote the wording of the survey according to Mr. Smith's guidelines. So this is how Mr. Gui Mr. Smith wanted me to ask the question. So the new survey question, which would you prefer, Nobby or finding a new job? The new survey results came in, Nobby won by a landslide. So the decision that I am recommending now is that we should go to Nobby for our staff lunch today. Question time, right? Anybody? Anybody have any questions? Uh, while you're thinking of your questions, I'll just uh, point back to our outline here. I talked about the introduction and uh, 
the problem that I had related to uh, choosing the lunch place, uh, the study design, the survey that I set up and why, I talked about the findings uh, and the uh, kind of complication we had with the accusation of the biased question, so I had to do it again, and how we made the decision in the end based on that final uh, that final survey. Okay, I'm not seeing any questions, so I guess you guys all enjoyed my presentation. Thank you very much for participating, and thank you to the conference organizers, or to the meeting organizers, uh, for having me come here today.